you going first? No. Are you? What the? Sixteen-year-old Eva from Melbourne has been fighting with her mother for the past two years. Are you ready to go? Are you ready to go? Don't touch me. This is a teenager who only marches to the beat of her own drum. I don't really like being told what to do. <laughs> I've said no smoking, but she just does it anyway. I've said no drinking, she just does it anyway. And follow the other family's rules. Rules, schmools. Things can't go on the way they are. Something has to change. I'm just a girl who likes to do things her way. I can't live without my cigarettes, my weed, my hip hop. I drink every weekend and I smoke pot every day. Oh. <laughs> I've taken ecstasy, speed, magical mushrooms, ice, acid. I consider my life all play, no work. It's all like one big party. <laughs> Eva was doing quite well at high school, then she was expelled. I think it has a lot to do with her starting to smoke. Who are we going to get a butt off tonight, huh? It's become a daily habit and it's just really affecting her, her moods, her motivation. Go away, Mum! Mum and I fight on a weekly basis, mostly about money. I'm not even an adult yet. You should still be supporting me completely. Oh, when Eva doesn't get her own way, look out. It's just tantrums. Shut up! Yeah, once we got into a bit of a brawl and I punched her in the nose, I chased her into a room and I was stabbing her door. I, I have been really scared. I've actually called the police once before. I don't listen to anyone else who tells me how to live my life. They can try and change me. Good luck to them. Travelling with Eva is 16-year-old Gab from Adelaide. He and his parents may as well be strangers. The silence within this family is deafening. I ignore my dad by not looking at him. I just turn my back, walk away, do whatever. It is the biggest insult you can give a deaf person. After years of fighting, Gab's profoundly deaf parents have hit a wall. I would struggle, you know, they tell me what to do, I'm just going to snap. Life's all about partying, getting drunk, getting high, and just having a good time. Death night would be going around just smashing people's side mirrors off with baseball hats. I don't give a f what people think about me. I hate people telling me what to do. Even my friends don't tell me what to do. I walked down, it's crap, crap, crap. All of this was gone, man. All of that was not down. <laughs> I just feel like I've got the best life. Because my parents are deaf, I do whatever I want. My mum and dad. They don't even fucking do nothing, man. Deaf parents, man. That's it. I've turned my back on them a lot of times. Yeah. But I'm not deaf, so I don't Here, please. I don't give a about my family, I only give a about myself. I hope you have an awesome time. Our teens are travelling to the US, to the state of Florida. On the banks of Crystal Lake live the family. Lieutenant Colonel Buck is an ex-fighter pilot and motivational speaker. Mum Lanann is a PE teacher and their troops, daughter Michelle, son-in-law Matt and grandson Pierce. The only option that I had was to pull the ejection handles and be sent 500 feet in the air in less than a second. That was the only way that I could survive. It's time to do a little bit of work. They will be expected to help with the cooking and the cleanup and just the chores around the house. Teamwork makes the dream work. You ready to ride this mean machine? Sure. Let it happen, Cap. 
Not scared, are you? I think children feel safer with boundaries. I think Nan is definitely <laughs> quiet, but uh, definitely a force to be reckoned with. I found that when kids say, you cannot make me do that, then I always respond, no, I can't make you do that, but I can make you wish you did. You would do better to walk through a cage of hungry lions with nothing but pork chop underwear on than to be around me with a bad attitude. Our teens are not sure what to make of their first taste of Keystone Heights. Looks like something out of a movie. And there's a million fast food restaurants. No one ever runs so fat. And they have no idea who they're about to meet. Just hope they're not hillbillies. Yeah, they're probably going to be like full hicks with like the straw hanging out of their teeth and the cowboy hat. Are you ready, Freddy? Oh, I think this is it. Yeah, they are. Let the party begin. <laughs> they look very happy. They look too happy. What a fake smile. All right! Hi. What's up, gang? Gabe, right? Yeah. Man, nice to meet you. Okay. This is Eva. Hi. 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 Good to see you. Nice Welcome to, to Florida. Hi, Eva. Um, Welcome to Florida. Well. Thank you. You're it's gonna so sweat. Hot. It You're is gonna hot. sweat. <laughs> After their warm welcome, Gab and Eva get their very first glimpse of their own piece of paradise. Is this yours? This okay. is y'all's. <laughs> This is incredible. <laughs> oh, my God. You guys grab a seat over there on the left. Suddenly, a week with strict parents doesn't seem so bad. So here's our rules of engagement for the week so that uh, everybody's on the same sheet of music and it all sounds real pretty. The first one is, is just being open and honest and truthful. It's a good all rule. Right? Good. OK, <laughs> the next one is attitude. We're not here to get all up in your grill. We're not here to get up in your Kool-Aid. We're really not. It's just treat each other with respect. Are you with me? Yeah. So the magic word is yes, ma'am, and yes, sir. So far, so good. But both teens are heavy smokers and are worried about Buck's attitude to cigarettes. You smoke? You smoke? Yeah. And I go, you know what? If you want to smoke, here's the thing. I'm not going to stop you from smoking when you go back. I'm really not. So just do it on the outside of the house. For the teens, it's almost too good to be true, but Buck and Nan have a secret agenda. If they do misbehave, we can use it as a currency, and we'll take those cigarettes away, but it was their choice to do that. You may think it's unconventional, but we know it's going to work. They are too nice. Just kind of freaks me out a bit. We will uncover and peel back what's really there over the week, and uh, but we're looking forward to dealing with them and getting to know them. The family don't seem strict yet, but uh, we'll see. <laughs> Eve is about to find that out sooner than she thinks. This is going to be a big challenge for you. Buck has planned a series of challenges for the week that will push the teens physically and emotionally, like climbing this tower. Now, what makes the big challenge is you're blindfolded. And you have to listen to my voice. Eva decides Gab should go first. All right, you're good to go. Climb on. That's it. They are not used to following directions. Uh, and so we're having to focus in on them doing exactly what we're telling them to do. Oh, my god. Right there, bring your left foot up. Now go back down, right there. Good, that's perfect. You're almost there. So go up easy, don't lift. Go real easy. That was great. Take the blindfold off. Heck, man, you did it. You're tied up, so yeah, go ahead and stand up and look at the view. Huh? You did all that. I think Eva just said awesome again. <laughs> Despite Gab making it look all too easy, Eva has decided heights are just not her thing. No way. Eva! No! Eva! No, I'm not doing it and you can't make me. So. I don't want to have to make you, but I want you to get, go, go accept the challenge. No. I want you to face your fear. I don't want you to go halfway. Right. Good she, girl! She'll shut you up. All right. Come on. All right, here we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're not doing the blindfold? 
No. Eva, whoa, 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 whoa. Let's talk. Just, no, I'm not doing it. Just shut up. Eva. What? Just stop for a second. No. No, no. I'm doing it. Wait, right, wait, I'm wait. I'm getting down there. I'm not doing no, it No, no, I'm just. You can get there. Be careful. Listen. <laughs> yeah. Listen, listen, listen. Really no, no, don't untie it. Just listen just, to me. Can you just shush? I'm sick of your voice. No. Listen. Just shush. I'm trying to just help shush. you. Just shush. No, I'm trying to, I'm trying no. to get you. You can get then. Aussie teens Gab and Eva have only been in Florida a few hours, but their first challenge has already pushed Eva over the edge. Well, I want to talk to you just for a second, mm. okay? Look at me. But new dad Buck is determined to get her off the ground. So you were so good at going, let's go get this done. There was so much slack in your rope. If you would have fell off that thing, guess what would have happened? We would have all watched you hit and bounce. If you want to do it without the blindfold, I'm okay with that, but we've got to do it the right way. All right. Okay? In? Okay. All okay. Right. You're Let's good. Do it. Okay. All right, go get them, girl. Oh my God, it's swaying! She is used to getting her way and doing what she wants. I am. There are concerns of the way that they treat their parents and the way that they deal with people. And man, when she's done, she's done. And halfway up the tower, Eva decides she's done. <laughs> Just take me down. Just let me down. She's letting you down. Come on down. Just go slow. Just sit back. I'm going to let you come on down. You all right? Just go easy. Go easy. Come on to me. You're gotcha, okay. Gotcha. Eva's reaction out there. What it says about her character that she is a quitter and that she has given up on herself. I've done it now, I've tried. In this household, there are no quitters. So it's Buck's mission to turn Eva's attitude around. Look who's here. What a beautiful view, look at that. Well, we got a great day planned, and we're ready to uh, rock and roll. All right, cool. But the first challenge today, water skiing, is not shaping up well. I've almost drowned three times, and I'm just petrified of deep water. It's me. <laughs> Try to thank you. I really don't want to fall in there. That's what I'm saying. You're not going to fall in. You're in the water already, so you're just kind of floating in the water. And we're right there beside you on the boat. There, so there you go. See how deep you are? That's how deep you are. Yeah, I'm scared. Of what? The water! All the stuff underneath. Pull up the side of my foot. Once again, Eva is letting her fear take control, and Buck is not happy. My concern is, I think you've missed the whole point here, that people are investing in your life. They really are. I want you to learn to face your fears and face them without an attitude. I've done nothing wrong. All I did was say that I'm too scared to do it. Here's what it is, Eva. Do you have so many excuses that you use in life? And that's going to keep you. That's going to keep you this week and maybe for the rest of your life from being everything that God wants you to be. I can't help my attitude. I'm a teenager. I've had enough now. You know what? You picked the wrong person to argue with, Eva. Why are you giving me so much Why don't you take that towel off your face, Eva? I don't want to look at your Thanks. Yeah, well, you say that one more time and you're done. I will not tolerate that kind of language on my beach. When are you going to learn to s Yeah, you're done, Eva. You yeah. will not do anything okay, else good. this afternoon. Awesome. I don't really yeah. care. You just turn me off everything now. All right, go. With Eva off sulking, it's again up to Gab to show how things are done. It may look like Gab is having the perfect summer holiday, but having fun is all part of Buck's master plan. The object is to get him comfortable in trusting us. All right, let go, real easy, real easy. So that let now go, we easy. can push him further down the road to go do and make decisions that will really help him overcome habits in his life. I've never felt this way, you know, being more confident, being more active and everything. Being away from the drugs has actually made me feel better. But when the challenge isn't to his liking, we start to see a different gap. And the next challenge is to prepare a luau for some American teens. 
This is their party and they're hosting it, okay? So hopefully they'll grow up and know that this is something that they can go do and be a young adult and then uh, have fun with teenagers their own age. That's not about drinking, not about smoking, not about partying. But before the party gets underway, Nan has a last minute request. Challenge I wanna give you for tonight. I'm gonna to ask y'all not to smoke while the other kids are here from the time they get here till the time they leave. Y'all good with that? If I do feel like a smoke, I'm gonna go for a smoke. I should listen to them and stuff, but that's something I can't stop. It's not gonna be that much fun, that alcohol, but I mean, I'll talk to the kids and see what their opinions are on it, and they look pretty cool. They have come all the way from across the pond from Australia. This is Eva. Hi. 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 I'm Whitney. This is Whitney. Whitney. <laughs> Hey, Nathan. Eva, nice to meet you. Mate. Nice to meet you. Yeah, that was awesome. Glad you came. We're, uh, we're nice working on drinks now. As the party gets going, it appears things are working out better than Eva expected. I did find some of the boys cute, but um, I don't know. What can you do? But the other man in her life isn't being a gentleman at all. Gab just sat there being Mr. Cool while she was doing all the work and the cooking and serving. Today was definitely payback for you, but you know, there's still more to come for her. She really hasn't pulled away this week, you know. Over the smallest things, she would just cry over or something. You know? I'll laugh at that. I see that as, you know, stupidity. Out last night. <laughs> Do you all Looked around and what? Oh Gab is slipping back into his old selfish habits. I thought he was very disrespectful to Eva and even talked about her ugly in front of everybody. He would just be really rude to me and sort of like shut me down and I was like, well, I'm the one running around getting everyone drinks, cooking the food, you know, bringing you a Mountain Dew. He couldn't even say thank you. He was engaged with everyone else trying to be the social butterfly. I was just about to say that. <laughs> he just sat back and didn't do his part. Things get worse when the teens hit the beach and Gab the show-off comes to the fore. He took off on the jet ski today, went right through all my ropes and everything out there, and I told him not to. I I'm big on if it's your party, then you're not the one that's out there riding all the toys. You need to let your buddies ride all the toys. And I think he was on the jet ski from my perspective more than anybody else. Gab's attitude is so cocky, he even thinks he deserves a cigarette. You don't want to get off, do you? No, not for the wrong one. All right. Yeah, you can do it. You can do it. Yeah. Yeah, an agreement, it's a challenge. Nicotine. But under the cover of darkness, Gab openly defies Nan. You know what it's time for? Yeah, bro, thank you. And draws Eva in. Trust. It's pretty important to Buck, I suppose. We betrayed it, but... Smoke's a smoke. It's not going to hurt anyone. Yeah. Yeah, you too. <laughs> but just in time, they realise their Florida dad, Buck, has spies on the ground. She's going to have to snitch. So it's a quick change of strategy. Uh, Buck, you're going to kill me for this? Uh-oh. Me and Eva had one cigarette. Okay. Uh, I appreciate your honesty. That's probably bigger than the cigarettes, you know, but... Uh, all right, well, y'all uh, go get ready for bed. It's late, and we'll talk about all that in the morning. In the morning. But Eva's night is not over yet. She's made a date with the boy from the party, which means sneaking out of the house. I'm not scared of the consequences. I mean, really, what's the worst thing that can happen? I miss out on tomorrow. They're not my parents, so I really don't care. The things we do for boys, huh? Hey, sorry. I had to like full run away and yeah. shit. What's going on? So hectic. I'm glad you made it out there. Yeah. 
Okay, it looks like the kids just stepped into stupid. I'll be back. It's gotta be a rush though, being in America and sneaking out. Yeah, it's awesome. So I could drink. There's a flashlight in my house. Me. Eva! Let's just get out of here. Would she call the cops in? Eva! I can't move. I'll go back if you want. Yeah, I'm Jack. That's the best idea. Yeah. Stop! Right now! Can you want back? Yeah. Okay. See you tomorrow. See ya. This is f I mean to worry you guys. Oh, really? Yeah, I just went for a walk to have a cigarette. I couldn't sleep. Do you realize there's alligators that are all out here that will eat you, and you are out here and doing so? I would never, ever do this. I wouldn't let my little dog do this. And you know what? Here, no, no, come here, come here. I'm not done with you. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Try, try. For the next three days, I'm going to give you a challenge, OK? Yeah, I want you to smoke that because you're going to enjoy that because that's your last one. And I don't think you'll have another opportunity to just step out of your room. You're a tight ass. That's it. Like, I went for a walk. Eva's lying and swearing is adding fuel to Buck's fire. Listen to me, Eva. It's to put you Get somewhere. Out of my face. Hey, listen. What? You're going to squirt me. Oh, my God. Is what? Is Let me hear the language, yes. Eva. Yes. You know why? Because you, you know what my mother used to do? She used to run, she used to wash my mouth out with water. Yes, keep saying it. I'm trying to help you. What are you saying? I can't hear you. Wash my mouth you up. To you're, I told you you were not gonna talk that way to me. Yes, mate. Shut your face. I'm going to bed. Good night. Buck is making sure Eva can't escape again. They think that they're going to rain on your parade with their attitude and their lying and all of that, that there's a huge penalty to pay for that. That's pretty sturdy. And we'll go finish this battle in the morning. Eva has no idea of the trouble she's just bought herself. I think we had lost the upper hand with Eva as far as um, her knowing that we didn't, we only had so long to work with her and she could just get by on a certain number of days. We think we should about set the table right now, babe. Okay. Set the table? No, go sit at the table. Yeah. Aussie teen Eva's midnight rendezvous with a local boy has infuriated her Florida parents, Buck and Nan. Eva, this is Glenn Ellison main operating guy of Camp Consequence. So they've called in the cavalry. Basically what I am is a mediator to determine what is the best way to correct something that happened last night. What I've already convinced everybody is simply that they can't control you. You're going to do what you want, when you want, and how you want. That's a fact. But what you can't control is the consequences. You've got two options. You can stay here under their rules, or you can live in an environment that's not quite as nice. I promise you, you won't like it. You can decide to do it their way, or you can decide to be very immature and not very smart and do it this way. We have no bathrooms here. Okay, cool. No air conditioning, no beds. So you get off on disciplining young girls. Eh? Oh, yeah, I love it. You're sick in the head, mate. Get out of my face! Oh, you scared the shit get out, out of my face! I'm not in your face. What? Now, you're welcome to my world, little girl. You're a freak. Yeah, you bet your life I am. Next up, it's Gab's turn. We have some issues that happened last night that um, this family is not very happy about. 
with Eva just a breath away from spending the rest of her visit in a labor camp. You know, Gab, the way that you've made some decisions, and even last night, we trusted you so much. Gab's about to learn he hasn't been flying under the radar. That you could not even stay away from one cigarette when we ask you to do that. See what I'm saying? What I saw yesterday out there on that deck, that was horrible. The way that you treated Eva at the party, you would make fun of her that I would never do that to my wife or my good friend. And it's like, you didn't like her tattoo, you didn't like this, you didn't like, this. oh my God, what a jerk. Well, I'd never go to war with you. You would just ditch me and let me get shot down and you'd go back home and leave me. You've not changed at all. We wanna help you in life. We don't wanna just let you have a week of fun and all that and you go back home and you're still the same gab that's so selfish and self-centered. I can tell when a kid really has a breakthrough and I don't see that yet. The terms are, you stay here, mind them, respect them, do what they ask you to do, and enjoy a pretty nice place. Or you come to my place. Doesn't look good. No, it sucks compared to this. Does you got cigarettes? Good? Give them to them. All of them. Oh, I'm gonna pack it. The next time you put a cigarette in your mouth, okay, you will spend the rest of your time in a tent. When they say jump, you're gonna do what? Jump. It's that simple. It's not hard. This is a great environment. This is a terrible environment. But Eva is still struggling with the whole issue of consequences. I did come here to try and change my life. You think sending me to a Nazi camp's gonna do that? But you have to buy into what's going on. You're not- To a Nazi camp? You You're can't. choosing a Nazi camp, I'm not, not me. He said that I have a choice. If I wanna stay here and show you guys some respect, then I have that choice. That's what he said before. I've had enough of this. She's still in control. And that tells me one thing. You don't deserve to stay here, young lady. Now stand up and talk to me. Don't give me an attitude. Treat me with respect or I will own you. Do you understand me? This is your last chance. You screw it up and you're gonna have the most unrewarding three days of your entire life and you'll never forget America. Now, I'm already in the process of getting hold of your parents to see if you really need to go home on Sunday. And that will be determined by me as well. Am I clear? Yes, sir. The games are over. For the next three days, you're going to be a model child. Am I clear? Yes, sir. I don't want to be your enemy, but I'll be your worst nightmare if you make me. Okay? Let's try it. I think it really did scare her and shock her. It's a good lesson for any parent that, you know, sometimes you may need help on something like that. It's not a sign of failure. I think it's a sign of loving your child enough to do whatever it takes. After such an emotional day, Nan decides it's time for Eva to receive a message from home. To my dear Eves, I'm thinking of you constantly while you are away, missing you so much and hoping... <laughs> and hoping you're dealing okay with everything that comes your way. It's my job as your mum to worry about you and want the best for you. I love you so much, sweetheart, and that will never change, no matter what. <laughs> but I need you to be aware that I am at the breaking point. Life at home is pretty much intolerable when you're around these days. I don't think you realise the upheaval and disturbance you create. With your constant outbursts, arguments, mood swings, late nights. You are not ordinary, Eva. You are so beautiful and you have too much going on to waste it. Once we were so close, for years it was just you and me. You... And you were my best little mate, especially when we were travelling together. But sometimes... Now I feel a grieving like I've lost you. I feel like I've lost my best friend, but it's my own fault because I pushed her away. Nan knows this moment is important in Eva's journey of self-discovery. 
learning to respect Nan has made me realise how little I respect my mum. And I really want to change that. Even after everything I've done to you, it's still nice to me. And I can't oh. work out why. Because you're worth it. And you know what? Your mom thinks you're <laughs> worth it. You're the only one that's not believed that yet. <laughs> and anytime these next three days you need a hug like this, let me know. I wanted one this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> The next day, a more subdued Eva and Gab are off to face Buck's next challenge. This one's going to be hot. It's going to be tough. This is serious. They've no idea what's waiting for them. Aussie teens Gab and Eva are in for the surprise of their lives. Gab, Eva, are you serious? And wipe that smile off your face. And furthermore, why you got your hat like that? Fix it! They needed a wake-up call, both of them. This is what you want? I'm gonna give you what you want. Run around this track three times. Hurry up! Come on, Snow White, let's go! Hurry up, Brad Pitt! Their American dad, Buck, has decided they need to experience the sense of pain their parents live with every day. This is the house of pain, and I do this every day, all day. Hurry up, Snow White, you taking your sweet time. Man, take them earrings out your ear. That's really pissing me off. Get up there, 10 seconds. Oh, you about to cry, Snow White? Oh, I just can't lift my No, mouth. you ain't my friend. Don't talk to me. I'm doing the talking. You do what I tell you to do. There was a couple seconds I thought Eva might lose it, but she uh, hung in there and she recovered and she kind of let it go. Yeah! Oh. oh, come on, Snow White. We just got here. We just started. Yeah. You want me to stop, Snow White? Yes, sir. You want me to stop? Yes, Who cares what you want? I ain't care you stop, keep pushing. She's starting to learn how to control it a little bit more. And even if even if that happens a little bit, I think that's a huge step. I have wife, asthma. To... Oh, I, have I got asthma. asthma. My wife got asthma too, and I don't care. Get out. Get out. Uh, uh, get out. Push. At that point is, I think, the victory for her because normally. Crawl on your stomach, go. Uh, she, she would have come unglued. Snow White would have turned into the evil witch. At first I thought he was a prick because he was running us around and wouldn't give us a break. Now I see that his method of changing people is through discipline. Hurry up, please hurry up. While Eva is pushing on, Gab is struggling. Can't breathe. Come on, Brad Pitt, you too. Nah, I couldn't handle it. Eva rushes to Gab's aid. Oh, oh, oh now y'all in love now. Y'all in love now. Oh, this is, this is wonderful, this is wonderful. I was kind of shocked of how hard he pushed him. I really was, because I thought, oh my goodness. I mean, there were a couple of times at Gab, I didn't think he was going to get up. I suppose I could have got my revenge because of the way Gab treated me at the Lau, but it wasn't about revenge. It was about both of us growing as people. If I had have been passing out, I would have wanted support. So I basically just treated him the way that I wanted to be treated. That's just what friends do. I tell you, what, you better drink that freaking water. I'm really, really proud of her. I'm, she didn't even go off to the sergeant today. How you feel, Brad Pitt? You know what? She didn't think about herself. She thought about Buck and Nan and me. Brad Pitt, get on your feet. I was proud of uh -oh. the teens for when they had nothing else to give, they were still trying to give. I want them to start realizing that they do have a champion's heart and they're not quitters. How do you feel, Brad Pitt? It's uh, Exhausted. I try to push myself mm -hmm. so hard to. It's... And that's wonderful that you feel that way. Do you think your parents feel the same way? You pushing them over the limit? Yes, And they tired so. and they can't do nothing? And this is their last hope. This is their last hope. It's funny how your parents, they gave you life and you treat them like that, huh? You think that's cool? Yes, sir. Now we feel like what our parents go through. Yes, yeah, How much pain they go through in a short period of time and how much we put them through. It seems the message about Gab's bad behavior to his deaf parents is finally sinking in. And on the other side of the world, they are reaching out to him the only way they can by pouring their hearts out on paper. Dear Gabrielle, 
I just want to say that I miss you and so does your father and brother and sisters. I'm feeling so hurtful deep in my heart that you're going to a different place. But I'm hoping that you will learn something there in a hope that you will give strong thoughts to change your behaviour. You're still my son forever, no matter how old you are. <coughs> it is never too late to make a fresh start again. We are proud of you and we hope you can be proud of us too. Regardless of the fact our deafness may have been a burden for you, we love you. I'm not angry because both my parents are deaf. It's not their fault. And they rely on me to help them. I should do so much more for them. Being here with Buck and Nan has really shown me how selfish I am towards everyone. After this experience, I'm not gonna hold back from helping him. I'm gonna help him. I'll be there for him. I think their countenance, I think their smiles shows a heart that I think uh, does have a different perspective on what life is. I felt like they had really bought into really looking at themselves and seeing what the problems were and what their triggers were that were making them react the way they did. Near the end of their week in Florida, our teens are finally becoming part of the family. Now, former Lieutenant Colonel Buck feels they've earned the right to tackle his final challenge. Airport. Captain Bob, Colonel Buck, welcome to your final challenge. You are just not gonna go right in this airplane. You are gonna fly this airplane. This is a thing where I can't really screw up. So, you know, I hope everything goes well. And now we're ready for takeoff. We're gonna add full power. So here we go. Okay, it's all yours now. As you can see, my hands are not on the controls. And you have the airplane. Thank you, sir. One of the most amazing experiences I've ever had in my whole entire life. Fun? Fun, uh -huh. Fun huh? Very good. I would say this is one of the best challenges Bark and Nan have given me. Yes, very, very, very nervous. Should I jump in? You can do it, Eva! Thank you! So I watch air crash investigations a lot, which doesn't really help. You ready to get out of town? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Please, the control wheel back. We're fine. <gasps> wow. Incredible. And you are flying the airplane. Wow. All right. Yeah. All right. You're doing it. That's right. The best feeling in the world. <laughs> that was awesome. Oh, my God. I was flying <laughs> through the air. <laughs> now the real challenge is on, can they continue to be the champions that we believe they are uh, by making smart choices when they get back home? Lots of the things that Buck and Nan said to me made me f believe in myself. I feel like I've come a long way. Out of 10, I would rate this whole entire week, I would say about 15, 16. We're exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> Raising teenagers is part joy and part guerrilla warfare. And uh, it is not easy. But I wouldn't trade it for anything in the world. 
can't believe y'all are leaving. It's just been incredible and I'll never forget it for the rest of my life. Thanks so much for everything. You know, they really, really are good teenagers deep down inside of them. And at the end of the week where you feel like they really started getting it and could accomplish the challenges with a smile on their face and a great attitude, I will miss that. Come back anytime. Anytime. I'll definitely will keep in touch with Buck and Ned. And, you know, if there is a big problem at home, I will call them because I know that they're, they're the right people to talk to. We love you. Love you all. I'm surprised how emotional it is here at the end and, and how much we, I really have fallen in love with them too. True values in life, isn't it? Think about it, your friends come and go, but your family's always there. And what happens when you treat them like shit and then they don't want anything to do with you? Then you got no one. And what happens if your friends let you down and you have nothing? Yeah, exactly. That's it, man. It's just like heaven coming back home. I just took it so for granted. I'm just looking forward to giving her a big hug kiss. I'm feeling so nervous. I just don't know what to expect. Mum said in a letter, it's not irreparable, the damage I've done, and this is pretty much my last chance to prove to her that I'm a young woman and not a little brat. to admit I didn't think that'd be possible for her to change. She like Lane. drove the plane. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> just being uprooted and just thrown into a completely different environment just really changes the perspective. It was like she's been in the dark for two years and like the lights turned on. Immediate plans, I'm gonna stop smoking bongs, I'm gonna look for a job and I'm gonna do anger management classes with mum. Living over there has made me appreciate how much you do care about me and I'm so lucky. Oh, don't cry. Mwah. I just want us to go back to normal. I'm feeling pretty excited to be back in Adelaide. I feel that my relationship with my parents is going to be a lot different because, you know, I've, I've learned so much. towards my mum and dad has disappeared. <laughs> my goals for the future is to try to rebuild my trust with everyone. I'm going to try to get into the good habits, try to change my life a bit so I make it a bit more positive. <laughs>